Well, it's that time of the year again, so I think we're all excited uh, for this upcoming season. Um, we're excited to be back out here. This will be our first day of practice, and I, I know our guys are looking forward to it. And really, in my opinion, nowadays, there's a lot of hard work that goes in, in the summer uh, with your players. I remember when I played, I don't remember working near that hard. So, you know, I think our guys are far along. They've worked extremely hard this summer. Coach Lovett and his staff uh, have really – uh, put our players through tremendous workouts to prepare them for our camp and for the upcoming season. Uh, once again, we're trying to add strength and size and mass and at the same time, uh, you know, continue to get faster and leaner. And certain guys lean one way, certain, certain guys need to lean the other way. But I think we've, we've been very productive in the way we've prepared our guys in th this summer. I think we're coming into camp pretty much for the most part healthy, and all of our guys are ready to go. So we're excited about the season. Uh, we're looking forward to the challenge, and it will be a challenging season. We've got a few key pieces of the puzzle that need to be replaced mm -hmm. ever since the last season ended. Uh, through the winter, through the spring, through the summer, we've worked extremely hard to, to prepare those guys for their opportunity when it comes. Hopefully that, uh, uh, you know, they're eager for, for, their, for their time to shine as well. But uh, I, I like the nucleus of our team. We've got a lot of guys on our team. They work hard. they got a chip on their shoulder. They're out to prove themselves. And really, the ability to prove consistency uh, and the fact that we can do it more than one year is going to be important. Uh, but the bullseye will be on our chest, and we understand we have a challenging schedule. We have a very good home schedule. We have a good non-conference schedule, and then we have uh, some very good conference opponents on the road that we have to go to their place and find a way to win. So we're excited, looking forward to it, and I know our players are as well. Coach, you're coming off a strong season, um, not a lot of losses, going to a bowl game. How are you going to keep up the momentum? this year, or if not surpassed last season. And you're exactly right. I think, uh, you know, for us, we try to keep the formula simple. We do understand that uh, the expectations are high and, and people are expecting a lot and the pressure will be on us, but we try to just keep the formula simple. We come to work every day trying to be as hungry as we can and we try to uh, dominate that day. And normally if you can kind of do that each and every day, then when the big games come, uh, you're able to relax. You know that you've put in the time, you've put in all the effort. You can look in the mirror and say that I've given it everything I have. And I think our players understand that. And really, what we do throughout the course of the season is it's a one-game season always. And uh, win, lose, or draw, we're going to move on to the next one, learn from our mistakes. Uh, uh, learn from the things we did well and, and find a way to get better. But our guys buy into it, and we practice hard. We go at a fast pace. We go with great tempo. And I think when we, when we do that, uh, it lessens the pressure come game day. What would you say that, um, what would you say that the team needs to work on? What are some weak points that you guys have that you're still focusing on to, to get better? Well, I think uh, consistency is the number one thing that we're working on is trying to, to uh, build a consistent you know, top-level team. I think things to work on is, is defensively we found a way to get better last year, and because of that, that's the reason we were 12-2 and two and, and, and not 8-5. and five. Our offense pretty much performed at the same level, but our defense stepped up. So once again, we want to try to raise the level of play on defense. Um, a few things that hurt us last year were the teams that went up tempo, or especially early on in the season. We found a way to combat that. We've got to find a way to, to play the spread teams that throw the ball consistently, and I think we've improved there, but we've got to continue to do that. And then uh, the new element is the teams that have a quarterback that is dual threat, that can throw it and run it very well. So we have to have a, a good plan uh, to stop that. But I think our defense has more experience than you think. I know we lost some starters, but we played a lot of guys, so I feel confident that we have a lot of guys that have been in the game and that are eager to shine. Uh, and then on offense, really, you know, we lost some, some key components. When you lose your quarterback and, and uh, basically your three top tight ends that played for you, and those are important positions. So we've worked hard at, at trying to improve that. Uh, the other position I think that uh, is a focus this year is our kicker position. Uh, we've got some candidates in that we, that we like, uh, but they've got to go out and prove themselves because we lost a, a, an outstanding kicker in Garrett Schwebman. Still going to wait a few weeks before you name the starter? 
Yes, we are. I think that uh, probably in the first seven to ten days we'll, we'll, we'll narrow that down and have a starter by then. But I, I like the way our guys have been working, and it's going to be competitive still. But uh, without question, I think by then we should have a guy that will start to get most of the, the reps, and the others will, will be ready just in case their number's called. Well, we've got a quarterback since 2009. It's easy to rally around the guy who knows to be the leader. How does it change you know, the way your team sort of uh, looks to leaders if you're not quite certain who that guy's going to be? Well, I think we have some other leaders on our team. We've got a veteran offensive line, uh, guys like Forrest Lamp and, and, and some others that have played a lot of games. They've started. And in my opinion, they're the strength of our football team on offense. We have some running backs that we feel very good about. When Leon Allen went down, we were uh, – you know, had some concerns that uh, that position wouldn't be able to play at that level. But I think in Ace Wells and DeAndre Furby, they both stepped up uh, and really played extremely well. And they're very confident right now. So our running game, uh, I feel good about it. It's just, uh, you know, the passing game is something with losing your quarterback and some tight ends that dominated in between the hashes. We, you know, we've got our work cut out for us. But we understand, you know, where we need to improve. Uh, just be leaders, which they've done a great job of during the spring. Um, come in and take control, just like Brandon did. You know, for the past three years that I've been here, and uh, just be leaders and run the huddle like they should, which they've done all spring. So we're confident in all of them. And like Coach Brom said, we'll uh, we'll figure out who's the one eventually. Jeff, what, in those first, in that first week, what will you specifically be looking for your quarterbacks? Are there any specific areas that you want that are really going to stick out to you? Well, we've uh, with our quarterbacks, we've tried to map out a game plan and. Uh, we try to narrow things down, and we've given really all of our quarterbacks three different things they need to work on to get better and to play at a high level. Uh, and all of them are a little different. But, uh, you know, Mike White is a guy that uh, has played at his previous stop. He has not played in our offense. Uh, he knows the offense probably a little better than the others. Um, he can throw the ball accurately, but we want him to uh, be a leader, develop toughness, be able to drive the football when he can. Uh, but he's working very hard at, at that as well. And Tyler Ferguson is a guy in the mix, and he's got to just make sure he, he can uh, be consistent. Uh, he can anticipate and make throws on time. Uh, and Drew Eccles is a, a young guy as well that has shown signs. Really, in the spring, he probably made the most big plays uh, of any of our quarterbacks. He's got to just maintain consistency and become more of a leader uh, and, and, and a guy that players uh, – want to rally behind because they know he's going to do everything he can to win. And then, of course, Stephen Duncan is another quarterback we brought in that um, is big, he's strong, he can throw it. His understanding of the offense is going to be behind the others, uh, so we'll have to play catch up there. But I think all four have different elements uh, that need to be worked on, but th they have worked extremely hard up to this point. Are there any young guys that stuck out to you over the summer? Well, I think that um, – we like our signing class, and we like the guys that are here, and we haven't got a chance to, to, to see them in, de in great detail. Uh, but we, what we have seen, um, you know, as far as guys that will, that will stand out is, you know, Xavier Lane is a receiver that gives us some size that we, we don't have. He's 6'3 plus. Uh, he's been an extremely hard worker uh, up to this point. We, we like what we've seen from him. Of course, Quentin Baker came in early in the spring, unfortunately got injured. but. Uh, from what we saw in the first week and a half, uh, he exceeded our expectations. We knew he'd be extremely fast, but he, he worked extremely hard. He was tough, and uh, he wasn't scared to run it up in there. So on offense, those are two guys, in my opinion, that stand out that uh, uh, we like. Our, our young tight end, uh, Kyle Fortenberry, is another guy that, because we're a little thinner at that position, he may have to play this year. We'll see. But we do like the way he competes uh, and what we've seen from him. And, uh, on defense, like, like I said, I think we've got uh, two or three deep that have been here. Uh, as far as young guys that can come in and play right away, Devon Key is a guy at safety that ha has done a very good job. Uh, he's smart. He's intelligent. Um, and then, you know, those are the main ones, in my opinion, that stand out right now. Coach, you met with the media at Louisville, and you also went to Comfort to USA. Media day where you were picked to finish second in the East. In your third year as head coach now, do you think your program's getting the respect it deserves that you're best building for these? 
Well, we got to earn our respect, and that's kind of our mantra. And, and, and sometimes when you're not picked as high as you would like, that's it's good motivational points. So our team understands that this is a new team. We lost some key players, and there's some people out there that think that uh, the fact that we lost them, we're not going to be near as good. So it's up to our guys on this team to prove that uh, they were a big part of the reason of that success. Uh, you know, young guys that haven't played as much have to step up. The others have to uh, carry them for a while until they get ready. But I think our guys are motivated, uh, and we understand that, you know, some of the teams uh, uh, are going to have some veteran quarterbacks and some leaders and have been there. But, you know, I, I like the nucleus of this team. Mark, how do you feel about your guys in the secondary after losing a few players last season? Um, I feel very confident. Uh, there's some uh, good leadership back there um, from guys that have been here for a while, you know, myself and uh, Brandon Leston. Um, and there's a lot of guys, and Coach mentioned there's a lot of depth at our position too. So we're really going to look forward to guys, and I am especially uh, to young guys stepping up and uh, claiming some roles. Um, but, you know, I feel confident as ever. You know, I've been here four years, and this group right here is one that I look forward to uh, getting the job done this year. So. Um, just, just really coming to camp and even coming from spring, we got some good work done in the spring with some, uh, with some new guys getting, uh, getting some work in. So I'm looking forward to guys just stepping up and um, asserting themselves. Marcus, this is for you and also then for you, Forrest. Uh, you guys are obviously considered to be leaders of this team. Do you feel like because of that and Mark's good reputation of you'll communicate very well with people and your teammates, do you feel like now that you're seniors that Maybe at times you have to go out of your way to speak up more so to your teammates even compared to a year ago. Um. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, you know, every year is a, a different year. So in that aspect, yeah, because, you know, some guys respond in different ways. But the coaches, you know, do a great job of setting the tone, um, you know, in practice, in the meeting rooms, wherever it is. And, yeah, if, if me and Forrest or whoever uh, the other leaders on our team have to speak up, we will because, you know, some, some – uh, like I said, some players respond differently. They may take a response differently from Coach Brown than they take it from me. So if it takes me having to say something, I will. But, you know, like I said, Coach Brown and the, our, the other coaches on our staff do a great job of letting, letting each guy know what they expect out of them and what they need them to be doing. And so, um, you know, it's, it's just a, kind of from the top down. That's where it starts, you know, from Coach Brown. And if me and Forrest have to, we'll, we'll speak up, yeah. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, last year with me being a captain, uh, we had five other guys that were also captains who were seniors. So last year I was kind of in the back, you know, kind of on the back burner watching them, see how they, you know, kind of took control of the team with Higby and Dowdy and um, some of the guys on defense, like wonderful Terry, who are our captains. Um, so if I do need to step up and say something, you know, more than happy to kind of learn that from last year from all those guys. But the majority of the part, like uh, Marcus said, our uh, coaches do a great job and uh, our team kind of polices itself. It's not just me and him, not just me and Marcus that are captains or, uh, you know, leaders. It's uh, the whole team kind of polices itself. Like Coach Brown said, we got a veteran offensive line, uh, a couple guys on defense who have been here for a while, like Brandon Leston, um, and they're just natural leaders. Marcus, what steps did you see that defense take last year to get better as Coach Brown said? Oh, I mean, the the I want I don't want to say a full turnaround, but I mean, pretty much that. I mean, we went from eight and five in in that 2014 season, and you know, I mean, got to a bowl game, first uh, bowl game in the school history, but you know, that wasn't good enough. So, I mean, you saw the the basically uh, a full turnaround from a, a season of kind of uh, mediocrity to just great success. So. That's just exactly what I saw. I mean, 12 and 2 speaks for itself. I mean, yes, the offense was, I mean, scoring at every turn, I felt like, you know, but we still had to go out in the field and stop teams. And that was pretty much how we went about it, you know, um, just getting those. I mean, Coach, Coach Holt said it yesterday in our meeting. We, we did a good job of eliminating the big play in a lot of those key games and not letting teams, you know, throw it over our heads like they used to in 2014. So, I mean, yeah, the, the, the just, um, I would say the commitment to our craft and the commitment to what Coach Holt and other uh, defensive coaches were trying to instill in us was just the biggest thing that I saw that um, was a change from 2014 to uh, last year. Well, because of that mark, do you feel like the defense has a little added pressure to make sure it's not a one-hit wonder? Um, I guess maybe for the guys that have been here like myself, yeah, because I'm always trying to get better. Um, but, you know, you try to, for me, and this is just a personal note that, you know, pressure, I don't really try to get, let it get to me because every play is, every play demands your, you know, your full attention. So if you're so locked into last year, trying to be as good as last year, or trying to be 
as better as the last play, then it'll get you that next play. And so, um, and, and, I, and I, yeah, I see where you're at, why you're asking that question. But you know what? It's a new team, and, and you guys will see we have a lot, some, some really hungry guys that are ready to step up. So it's honestly just going to be we're kind of turning the page in a way. Um, and we're just going to, you know, take the season as it comes. The first game, we'll be ready to go. And we know what our job is to stop teams and uh, get, our, get our defense, the, I mean, get our offense the ball back. So we'll just commit to that, and we'll just know that this is uh, a new year for us. Kep, obviously, like you mentioned, you've got big shoes to fill at quarterback, but you mentioned your running backs coming back, your offensive line, you think is going to be maybe the strength of your team. You've got a couple of really good receivers back. How much does that help in the process of developing a new quarterback? Well, it, it, it's vital, and uh, our quarterback will rely on them. And, and you know, those guys that have made, play for, may, have made plays for us, so we're very confident what they can do. And to get a guy that's going to have his hands on the ball every play, he, he has to take care of it. And we, we stress a lot here the uh, turnover battle, uh, ball security. We work a tremendous amount, way, way more than I've ever worked anywhere we've been. So if, you know, if we're smart with the football, we don't beat ourselves, our defense is, is, is playing well, we're going to be in the game. And our quarterback, yes, he has to find ways to make plays, but he also has, has to make sure that he's smart and he, he doesn't lose the game for us. But we're going to continue to be aggressive. We're going to continue to take shots. Uh, we'll probably have to manage that a little bit early on just to make sure the quarterback is comfortable. But we always want to build things around him and make sure he feels good and we're doing things that he does well. Uh, but, you know, I think we have a plan for that. Coach, it seems like everywhere you know, the team win all the time from week two against Alabama. How important is it for the team not to overlook week one against Rice? Well, we're, we're going one game at a time, and everyone wants to talk about who's on the schedule, and, and we're not oblivious to that. But uh, Rice has been a very good opponent. Uh, they're always one of the top teams in the conference. Last year they were down, and they didn't go to a bowl game for the first time in a good while. Uh, and we know they're going to be hungry and ready to go. And uh, they're a smart football team. They're disciplined. Uh, they pride themselves on that. So it'll be a, a true test for us the first game against a, uh, a first game starter quarterback especially. Coach, uh, DeAndre Furby and Anthony Wells both had breakouts in seasons last year. How much have they improved since last season? How do you see a guy like Leon Allen kind of contributing to the running game? Well, we like the progress of Ace Wells. His strength is uh, he's elusive. He's got speed. He is very confident. Uh, and uh, he can make some big plays for us. And, um, you know, he did a great job. And I think he's worked hard. He, he knows he's a leader now. DeAndre Furby has stepped in. He's physical, gives us a different element at running back. Um, really works extremely hard, even harder than I thought he would coming from Nashville, being Mr. Football and, and, and all the accolades that he had. So I'm, I'm very proud of the work ethic he has. So we're very confident in those guys. Leon Allen, as you guys know, um, as you guys know, he's, he's one of the best. We just got to try to find a way to get him healthy. Forrest. Uh, kind of following up what Coach talked about in that question, you block with these backs. Mm -hmm. How good are they? your head is um, they're great. We love them. Um, whole offensive line loves them. It makes it easy for us to block for them, um, especially because they give us so much credit. Um, you know, they're real selfless, and uh, we love those guys back there, every single one of them. Um, obviously, it was a uh, big loss having Leon hurt, and uh, the whole team felt it. Um, wasn't just, you know, one of our teammates going down as a brother. Um, but Ace and Furby did a great job stepping in, especially Furby as a freshman. Um, so we love him. Whoever's back there will block for him. And uh, we just look forward to this year. Jeff, you talked about him uh, briefly, but what does a guy like Ty Robertson have to do to, to try to bring his way up to that top spot on the depth chart? Well, you know what, Tyler, uh, we feel has made great strides uh, in the way he's throwing the football and his delivery, uh, his demeanor, uh, his confidence level on the field. Really, last spring uh, was really his first year in our offense, so he had some struggles just decision-making and uh, timing-wise, but I think he's put in the work. Uh, he's a big, strong, physical kid that can really throw the ball. He's got a great arm, uh, and I think – We've tried to work hard at his weaknesses, and uh, he's put in the time. Uh, he's committed. He's dedicated. Uh, and we've got to give him a shot to see what he can do this year. Marcus, uh, four quarterbacks in conference USA last year threw for over 4,000 yards. Tell, talk to us about how tough it is playing defense in this conference. Uh, very tough. Um, but you know what? Coach Holt does a great job in getting us prepared. Um, 
you know, every team that we played last year and even we'll, we'll look forward to playing this year, they do a lot of stuff as far as, you know, uh, t hurry up t hurry up offense tempo, which which is probably the biggest thing we see in, in this conference. And obviously, yeah, you said quarterbacks that can, that can throw it all over the place. So, yeah, it's a lot. But, you know, we pride ourselves on just preparing for anything. So I think last year, um, you know, tempo, like I said, was our biggest, our biggest uh, key point on defense. So we prepared uh, strenuously for that every week, trying to uh, get 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 lined up as fast as possible, and then be being able to play after that. And 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 then quarterbacks being able to throw it, um, you know, every which way is is yeah, it's hard. But our DBs are you know prepared for that. I mean, that's why we're back there. That's what we were recruited for. So we just do our job, you know, at that at that point. So we're we're and, and also we're competitive also. So you know, we don't let you know. Just guys feel like they can throw it anywhere. You know, we, we want to cover guys. We want to make sure that we um, just do our job on the defensive side of the ball. So, I think um, Frank, where you guys led the league forcing turnovers last year, what's going to be the key to adding a similar, even better performance in that this year? Uh, keep practicing. Keep practicing. Uh, Coach Holt talked about it yesterday in our meeting, our first meeting, that, you know, the, the, the football is the most important thing on the field. And so, on our side of the ball, it's just getting it back and getting the football. So, yeah, that that that's something we can um, you know hold high and acclaim that we were our turnover our margin was incredible the past two years. But yeah, we just got to practice it every day, um, especially yeah every day, pretty much every week we do some sort of drill that involves getting a turnover, where it be um, um, forcing the, uh, the fumble or uh, interceptions, catching the ball, um, anything like that, just to to keep practicing it, not not forgetting that it's, it's an uh, important part of uh, being on defense, not just stopping people and keeping people out of the end zone, but also just getting the ball back for your uh, offense and uh, creating turnovers. Coach Tom, the two gentlemen sitting on each side of you, Marcus and Forrest, since you've met them, how much have you seen them develop on the field, but maybe more importantly, how much have you seen them develop off the field? Well, they're exactly what you're looking for in a student athlete. Uh, both guys work extremely hard on the field. They do a great job in the classroom. They are very productive and committed to the community and being a good citizen. So they, they set the tone. They set a great example. I think they love the game of football. They love their teammates. They like to compete. Uh, they're all about trying to be the very best they can be. And I think if our young guys, you know, take a good look at, at how they're doing things, uh, you know, we're going to end up being a good football team. Coach, you've been here a few years now. How do you feel the fan base has treated you, the team, and do you guys think you're going to sell out a game this year? Well, I, I love our fans. I think. Uh you know, it's important that you try to put the best product you can on the field and try to win games and win championships and make it fun and exciting for your fans to watch on both sides of the ball. And we definitely are committed to trying to do that. And I think uh, as the season went on, you know, you take a look at the uh, conference championship game and uh, the crowd we had at that game and all the people that were in the end zone and, and the field after the game uh, atmosphere uh, was tremendous, in my opinion. Then you go to the, the bowl game down in Florida, and uh, basically we're playing somewhat in South Florida's backyard, and they're extremely hot, and they've got a good fan base, and I thought that uh, our fans won that battle as well. We had a great turnout. Uh, when we're up there getting our trophy after the game, uh, and you look out in the crowd, it was a sea of red. They were into it. They were still there. Uh, so I was excited about the, the fan support we had. Uh, and I'm looking forward to con hopefully trying to build upon that. Well, you know, like everybody, we, we want high expectations. We want to try to win. We want to try to win championships. That's all what everyone tries to get. Uh, but it's harder to do than you think. So we've got to try not to focus on, on it too much, worry about just getting better every day, really be committed to uh, doing what we can on a daily basis of uh, – working as hard as we can, uh, uh, competing, uh, trying to set the tone, uh, all the players buying into it. You know, I think it's important that our guys understand they're all extremely important on this team, whether you're a starter or a backup. Uh, at one point, you're going to get in the game. And I think our guys have bought into that. So we try to keep the formula simple. We try to outwork our uh, opponent and compete every day. And uh, every day we take the practice field, we're, we're trying to commit to that being game day and putting pressure on ourselves to perform out there so that when we get to game, we can relax and just let our, our natural skills take over. George, how's Brian adjusted to going from playing quarterbacks, not coaching quarterbacks? 
Well, I think he'll do a great job for us. He's a guy that uh, understands the position, which is the most important. He's played at a high level uh, in college and in, at the National Football League. Uh, so he's kind of been under fire. And quarterback's a position that's a little different. You know, you, you've got to have some toughness. You've got to understand that anybody can go out there and throw the football versus air or even in, in this seven-on-seven seven, uh, skelly atmosphere. But when you get into a team atmosphere and you got 11 guys out there and a bunch of guys are coming at you and they're ready to hit you and knock you down and talk a little bit to you afterwards, you've got to be locked in and ready to go. And uh, we have to find ways to simulate that game atmosphere for our quarterbacks. I think Brian understands that. I do that preparing a quarterback is very delicate and uh, you have to have a meticulous plan and you have to put him in as many tough situations as you can in practice because in the game uh, if you haven't done that it's a different speed and you're being hit uh, constantly uh, and you're always uh, a target for the defense so we've got to continue to work at it but brian's done a great job to this point Boris, how much fun is playing in this offense you all put up so many points plus you still have the running game so you can still go out there and hit somebody yeah, I mean, it's a blast. Uh, Coach Brown and the rest of our coaching staff has done a, have done a great job um, putting together this offense. And uh, we love playing it. We love scoring points. Um, so it's fun. We do a bunch of different things. Like you said, we pass it. We run it. We have screens. We do trick plays. Um, there's nothing more fun than sitting there blocking for a couple seconds and seeing Taewon run down the field and catch the ball wide open you know, off of a flea flicker or something. So it's a blast, and we, we all enjoy playing in it. Jeff, going into your third year, what, what do you know as a head coach? What do you know now that you didn't know when you started? Well, I think like a player, you're constantly learning and trying to get better. And, um, you know, really, in my opinion, you're trying to put your players in the best position to succeed. And I think as a coach, that's important. You know, being a former player, Sometimes when you lose, it's not all the players. It's the coaching as well. So the first thing we have to do is look in the mirror and make sure we're doing everything we can to help our players succeed, make sure we're doing everything we can to help them have success on the field. Uh, if we can do that, then our players will believe in us and have a chance. And we're, you know, where it goes from there is you, know, you want your players to enjoy playing the game. And hard work is extremely hard. So you want to be able to, to smile when you're doing it. You want to have a good attitude. You want to make it fun and enjoyable. You want them to spend extra time over here. You want them to care about us coaches a little bit, and you want them to care about you know their team as well. And I think if you can create that atmosphere and create, and create an environment where people like coming to work, uh, uh, they know that people are dependent on them and they're having fun doing it, hopefully you're going to get the most out of them. Anything else for Coach? Thank you. Thank you.